Okay, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use JPEG images for a Cricut in Design Studio. I'm using a Mac computer. I'm sure it's very similar on a PC. Uh, that's what I have. I have a Mac. I'm an Apple person. Been using it for years. The formatting and I just like the versatility of pattern design and ease of use, what have you. Color, uh, the color sync te technology is second to none. But with all that, let's just uh, get right to it. In Design Studio, launch the app and you'll see a window like this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And uh, once you're in the app, hit New Project. Okay. It's going to open up your cutting field. This is uh, the size of your, uh, I guess, your uh, material. Yeah, that, that your mat, uh, what is that, uh, for your templates. So what you want to do is you go to Upload, and you already have a selected image right here. So you have some old images I was playing with. I'm going to show you right from the start how to get a JPG, JPEG, without using PNG. Uh, very simple. Let's upload an image. We're going to browse. You browse your computer. You can see I have all my my stuff uh, right here. This Valentine gnome is uh, JPEG without numbers in it. As you can see, it's just pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's uh, let's con hit continue. It's going to bring it up into your working area. And uh, from here, you want to go to Manual Select. What this does, it, it selects the areas that you want removed f from the cutter. So you want to cut the black areas, uh, which will you know, give you your templates. OK, that makes sense. So let's go select, and here you'll get your crosshairs. You'll start with the background. Just click on it and kind of move it. That'll select the uh, background. You can see it's all checkerboard. That's telling you that that's now removed from your uh, your pattern. So we're going to start. So if, if you have a hard time seeing it, just bump it up. And then you could use the mouse to scroll. Uh, again, you just click on it, move it slightly. See, now this is now transparent. What it's doing, it's taking the JPEG and turning it into PNG, which is uh, uh, the formatting with a transparent background leaving the black lines visible for the cutter. And you can see it, it, the machine's going to cut, removing all the black. So whatever you have heavy is going to be taken out. Uh, a lot of my patterns, you'll see uh, variable width, widths of the actual lines. This is completely intentional. It gives depth to the pattern. Everything's not a perfect line. If that's something you want to do, if you want to uh, go into, uh, you know, iOS, use, uh, you know, the uh, the Mac product, the, uh, the iPads, and open up Procreate. It'll give you a perfect line. Uh, again, my patterns are handmade, and spaces and heaviness is intentional. You know, around around this area, 
this is an intentional shadowing. Uh, I don't really feel the need to explain that 100%. But it is what it is. Nothing, nothing I do unless it's a, a CAD drawing, which I do make. I make for uh, very geometric style windows, you know, designs, where I, I use a computer pixel formatting, you know, the line widths on the computer that are, are, are perfectly spaced. Here again on hand drawn patterns, there will be a variance. And the machine will remove that variance for you. What I'm doing is I'm just going along. You want to click, hold down, you know, move it a little bit. It'll highlight the area. Click it. It, it will recognize me. Click it and move it. Click it and move it. And then, you know, click it and move. And you, you feel you got everything. Here we do. You could zoom back down or you could leave it. Apply and continue. Now I don't use a Cricut machine, but I just wanted to look at the software and see how well relatively easy it is. It for using JPEGs it's it it's very easy. Now it's gonna give you an option to upload files to the Cricut website. You can, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, without using their uh, servers and pay for access, uh, you don't have to. So you can do a, a simple silhouette or, a, you know, flat graphic, you know, you can, you can uh, print it and cut it. All right, so in, in most cases, that's something you want to do. If you just want the pattern, you go here to the single layer. You want a flat graphic, you go here. But uh, in most cases, you already have my pattern in a PDF file, so you don't need to create the flat graphic. You already have it. So we're just going to go to single layer, hit continue, and uh, you can give it a name, this and that do what you want uh, create a new collection enter keywords you know, all, all this customized stuff all right here you want to you go to upload and it's going to show you your actual pattern you can see this this is act, this is 150 I should have uh, brought it back down because you know, being it was it was big in preview, it's going to show it bigger here. Uh, let's see, it's just showing seven by twelve. That's too big. It's going to give you a size. Let's see, you want a five inches by eight and a half. All right, that's that's the size I intended this to be. You know, to save material, you can bring it up in the corner. Uh, maybe you could use something with the excess. Or you could just, you know, give it a nice spacing. All right. Once you get that, you look at it and say, well, some folks are concerned about heavy lines. So what you want to do is go to the offset. All right. This offset it's going to allow you to adjust the line widths. Okay, so let's go there. See, this is set to 0.25 by default. So what it's going to do is it's going to remove all of this and just give you these tiny little spots. If you want to bring that down, you bring it down to zero. You actually bring it less. Uh, I, I honestly I would just stay with zero um, if you this I haven't really ventured into this but I believe by doing this you can minimize the the width of the lines like that good we're gonna stay with that 
that's if you want to make bigger spaces. My apologies. I uh, let's see. I have never. Oh, okay. So, so basically, you know, for any sizing, you want to go to your offset. Uh, you can let's see, edit. I mean, you, there's so much more you can do. You can warp it, make it wow in a click. Oh, that, you gotta pay for that. Anyway, that's how you get a JPEG into Cricut. All right, it's showing two layers. Huh? I've never seen that. Let's delete that one. And uh, again, if if you want. I mean, there are other ways. If you do have a Mac computer, you can uh, actually thin out these lines using uh, software. I use uh, the Mac Pages app. You can actually select the pattern areas and give it a one in, a one pixel edging, in, in a border, say in white, or just you know, and then import that and it'll recognize it as a flattened image uh, it, but honestly the, these this thickness th this is intentional so you you want I mean stained glass it is nice to have very thin lines and you know work with it that way it is it, in this case you can say well when I'm cutting it just leave a little extra glass showing if you want you know shape it as you go the, the, the main goal is to get your templates ready for glass cutting uh, again it, it, the spacing is intentional it also adds strength to the pattern and um, it's it's really how it comes out what, what I can do is I can do another tutorial on how to take this image, you know, I'll use the same pattern and make the lines thinner. Uh, I, I just I thought there was a feature where you can select the black and shade it out. Let's see. Let's see. Edit. It's just showing your position. Basic cut. Basic cut. Well, I'm not going to waste anyone's time. But that's how you do it. JPEG to PDF. I'm sorry, PNG into your machine. It's real easy. And again, when when this is going to make templates for you. If you say, well, you know, this nose is a little pointy here. I want to round it off. So when you cut your glass, just cut the glass a little past it. So when you lay your glass down, you could see you made that little fine tuning. Or if you say, eh, you know, I want to make his mustache point up a little bit more. That's all. Once you have your template, you can make those changes. You know, these are going to, the template that this creates is basically going to uh, give you your refined areas where the pattern will fit. And again, you want a little space. You want, I keep my, my uh, lines reasonable within size that's workable for the best outcome. And again, these areas like here, this is an intentional heaviness. To give the shadowing of, of the of the hat, uh, I suggest for the center of the flower to use a solder blob. If you had glass going all the way down, say to a point, it really it, it's redundant because it's all going to pull up to a point anyway. I uh, suggest making a blob, which you do on the side. You can do it on a piece of wood or. You know, not glass, because glass will crack. It, it, you could, but use like quarter-inch tempered glass. 
You just drop a solder ball on it, let it cool, put it on top of your stained glass, just give it a little tack on, on the side, just to make that, that center bud. Uh, but th this is a new pattern I made, it's uh, the Valentine Gnome. If you have the pattern, good luck with it, and if you have a Mac, you're on the right track. I didn't really intend for that to rhyme, but it did. If you have a Mac, you're on the right track. I'm going to do a short video how to do uh, minor JPEG alterations, you know, making lines thinner. Uh, I, I really don't know why I am, but I, I've been asked to. Uh, there are different applications. One that I really like is a uh, Pixelmator app, which uh, what I can do is I could pause this video and open up Pixelmator and show you how to shrink lines in Pixelmator, save it as a PNG, save it as a JPEG, re-import it into uh, Cricut, you know, for that. But Cricut, from what I understand, it's going to give you your templates and pretty much your pattern. Your actual glass cutting and grinding will determine how much you leave as far as spacing. You know how, how much? Say you know this hand. You want this to come. I mean, the the, the differences are so minute. And again, uh, this is not really a great example of my intentional shadowing of my patterns, but nonetheless is. You know, uh, th this was a hand drawn pattern. It was not created on a computer, other than from manipulating the size and the overall look, and a little bit of shaping here and there. I uh, hope I helped. If you have a Cricut machine, uh, congratulations. I hear a lot of people like it quite a bit. In the video, in this video, there'll be a link below where you can get the Cricut machine and it'll be in my Amazon influencer store. You know, YouTube does that. They uh, give you that. Uh, they actually endorse it. They say, you know, maybe they got something going on with Amazon. I don't know. But it helps me out. It helps my YouTube channel. Uh, purchases from my Amazon influencer store. And I'll show you the Cricut machine in a link below. And please, if you like my video, like it, sub subscribe, and uh, share it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help the stained glass community and uh, in the design aspects of this whole game we love, stained glass. If you have any questions or comments, again, uh, comment below. I'd really love to hear from you. Thank you very much.